How you doing, everybody? Eric Whittington here. And today I want to talk to you guys about stop your stinking thinking and think positive. Stop your stinking thinking and think positive. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever walked up to somebody in a grocery store and you're, you're nice to them? You're like, hey, how you doing? Have, you having a good day today? What are you talking about having a good day? You know what? My job sucks. My boss sucks. I don't have any money. My girlfriend doesn't clean the house. She doesn't cook. My kids don't respect me. I drive a hoopty. You know, it, it, I, I ate at this restaurant the other day, and the, the, the food sucks, you suck, this store sucks, this line is too long, I only got one small item to pay for, the girl doesn't know what she's doing, everything just sucks, the weather outside sucks, so, so why don't you just get away from me and don't talk to me? And you say to yourself, whoa, you're a regular Hallmark card, ain't you? Well, listen, you have a good day. Don't tell me to have a good day, you get, get away from me. Okay, then just have a day then, and you walk away. I mean, people like that, ladies and gentlemen, suck the life out of you like a blood-sucking leech. They do. You don't want to hang around people like that. You really don't. I mean, and I'm sure every one of us knows somebody like that. Every single one of us. So, what I'm, what I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is you don't have to be that way. You don't have to think like that. You don't have, a mi you don't have to have a mindset like that at all. I mean, but obviously, this guy's way beyond help. You know, because... Uh, if, if, if you really if you really look at the situation and the way he was yelling and screaming and acting crazy, you know, I mean, th this guy had went through something in his life. There is some, a lot of things that happened in his life, a lot of negative things that happened in his life, but he did not know how to handle that. He didn't know how to he did not know how to turn around into a positive. He did not know anything about that. But ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to explain it in this video how you can actually turn a negative situation into a positive situation. I want to tell you about a book that I've been reading. It's called The Seven Day Mental Diet. The Seven Day Mental Diet. Now, Tony Robbins talks about this a lot. Tony Robbins is an awesome motivational speaker. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is. But if not, you need to look him up on YouTube. He's awesome. And if you ever had a chance to hear him speak, my goodness. I mean, he'll pump you up and he'll just... You'll be on top of the world after listening to this guy. I love him. He's the man. Anyway, the book is called The Seven Day Mental Diet. And what it talks about is... uh. Program your mind to not think a negative thing and program your mouth not to speak a negative thing. And you got to do this for seven days. For seven days. But you have to commit to it first, ladies and gentlemen. You have to commit. Before you even open up the page one, you have to commit. Because a lot of us, we, we got a habit of, of thinking negative and talking negative. We do. I mean, it's like the normal thing now in life. And if you run into somebody that's uh, always positive, you, you, you probably think they got a few screws loose upstairs. Because it doesn't seem normal to you. But it can be normal to you. And if, and if you do that, people will be attracted to you. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you're going through this book and you're reading. You know, and you're, and you're putting into practice the things that you learn in this book. You know, if you feel that you're going to say something negative, I mean, if you're frustrated and somebody does you wrong or whatever and you're frustrated about stuff, all you got to do is just turn it around and say, oh, uh, what, I, what I meant to say is this. Or what I meant to say is that. You know? Always keep a smile on your face. That's what you do. I know it's hard, but you got to do it. You got to find, you got to focus on a, a, a positive solution to every negative situation. That's what you have to do. And let's say you get to day five, day six. You're almost to day seven in the book. And a negative bomb just drops in your lap. Boom! You know, and you just get to the point where you're, you're, your blood is boiling. You just want to cut some people out. You know, but you don't do that. You just keep it rolling. You just remember what you've learned in this book and you just keep your head together. Keep yourself together and just keep it rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <clears throat> notice what's great about a situation. If you're in a negative situation, you really have to focus on what's great about the situation. All right? And a lot of people don't think that way. They're in a situation and they think their back is against the wall and they have no way out. But you have to, you have to find what's great about any situation that you're in. You know, and there's a lot of people at their nine to five, or this happens a lot in corporate America, they're judgmental of other people. You know, they say, oh, well, this person, you know, he's egotistical. He walks around all proud. He doesn't know how to treat anybody. You know, never be judgmental of anybody because what you're doing, baby, is you're judging yourself. And never be really angry with anybody, especially if it's got nothing to do with you, you know, because you're really angry at yourself. Because if you're doing that, you're looking at yourself in a mirror. That's what you're doing. Make a habit, ladies and gentlemen, of complimenting others. Even if you can't stand the person. 
make a habit of complimenting them. I mean, they may look at you with a you know crazy look, you know, and because they know they're a jerk, but they're gonna look at you with this crazy look. Why are you complimenting me? They may not say that, but they're gonna be looking at you like, why are you complimenting me? You know, are you crazy? No. You make it a habit to say something nice about somebody, even if you can't stand them. That's what you do. And that's one of the things that this book teaches. And a lot of us, we don't do that. We just stay far away from the person if they're, if they're negative and talking all this crap. So say something positive to them. Compliment them about something. Appreciate them. You need to appreciate any negative thing that happens to you. I know you think that I'm probably nuts for telling you this, but anything negative that happens to you, you need to appreciate it. Because it's only going to bring you to a positive. If you want it to happen, it can happen because you have that mindset. So appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. And also another thing that I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, decide not to be perfect. I'm going to say it again. Decide not to be perfect because perfect people, people that think that they're perfect and they can do no wrong and they got a halo over their head, those are the most negative people you're going to run into. Seriously. Because if they screw up something, they're going to beat themselves up and they're going to take it out on you. That's what they're going to do. So decide not to be perfect, baby. Because we're human beings. We're going to say some things that are wrong we're going to do some things that are wrong. We're going to make wrong decisions in our lives. We're just going to just basically screw up. That's what we're going to do because we're human beings. There's only one perfect person that ever walked this earth. And you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Only one perfect person. So don't act like that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't act like that because let me tell you something. If you think that you're perfect, you're, you're bound for failure. Seriously. You're bound for failure. So don't beat yourself up. So if you're doing, if let's say, let's say you're a marketer and you do something wrong, you know there's some things that you're doing wrong in your business. And if it's not, just as long as it's not a total disaster, you can always pick yourself up and keep going. You know, just do more the next day than you did the the, the day before, and just keep it moving that way. Keep being productive in your business. Just do more and more each day. You're not perfect and know and know in your mind that you're not perfect. And just keep it moving that way. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the last word on this. Always use the F word. Yeah. And you probably think, whoa, you want me to cuss? No. Use the F word. The F word meaning faith. Faith, ladies and gentlemen. You always have to have faith in yourself, in your business, in life. Always have faith. Don't walk around with a defeated attitude. You're going to make mistakes. Pick yourself up, brush yourself off, and keep it going and have the faith and keep it moving. Because I'm telling you, the moment you stop, you're going to get defeated and you're going to quit. And you're going to become that guy that we saw at the beginning of this video. All negative and don't want nothing to do with nobody. And nobody's going to want anything to do with you. So keep the faith. Because, ladies and gentlemen, faith is your ultimate power. Faith is your ultimate power. Keep it moving, ladies and gentlemen. Make your mistakes. Get up. Brush yourself off. The more mistakes you make, the more you learn, the better you are. You're still standing. You win. Faith is the ultimate power. And that's what you have, ladies and gentlemen. So get rid of that stinking thinking, think positive, get the book, The Seven Day Mental Diet, implement the things that are in this book, start changing your life, and don't be that guy that we saw at the beginning of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got a little value out of this video, all I want you to do is connect with me on Facebook, connect with me on YouTube, any way that you can connect with me. We'll talk about this some more. Now remember to look up that book, The Seven Day Mental Diet, and look up Tony Robbins because he's an awesome speaker, and believe me, you'll get a lot of value out of his videos. I guarantee you that because I do. Matter of fact, when I'm done here, I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to check out some more of his stuff. God bless you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.